Welcome to Assembly News Now. This is multimedia editor Jennifer Pierce, and here's what's happening with product assembly on August 5th. Electric trucks deliver parts to Mercedes factories in Germany. Texas Instruments invests billions in U.S. manufacturing. GE Appliances expands its assembly plant in Georgia. And for our top story, Zooks opens a new factory to assemble robo-taxis. And finally, robots automate assembly of an EV component. These Assembly News Now stories after a brief message from our sponsor, Motion Index Drives a leading manufacturer of rotary, linear, and multi-axis precision indexing devices. Motion index drives, rotary index tables, precision link conveyors, weld positioning systems, tool tray shuttles, robot transfer units, and much more through your customized specifications. Learn more at www.motionindexdrives.com. For our first story in this episode, Electric trucks produced at the Mercedes-Benz factory in Wirt, Germany, are being used to deliver parts to that facility. Mercedes has been using its own electric trucks for regional deliveries for more than a year. Then in July, the company began using its electric trucks for long distance trips as well. 14 of the plant's suppliers now use electric trucks for deliveries. Some of those suppliers are more than 370 miles away. Also making assembly news, Texas Instruments will invest more than $60 billion across seven U.S. semiconductor manufacturing facilities, the largest such investment in U.S. history. Combined, the facilities in Texas and Utah will support more than 60,000 jobs. Texas Instruments is the largest semiconductor manufacturer in the country producing analog and embedded processing chips for smartphones, vehicles, data centers, satellites, and other devices. The company supplies chips to numerous companies, including Apple, Ford, Medtronic, NVIDIA, and SpaceX. Moving to our next story, GE Appliances has completed work on a $180 million expansion of its cooking products assembly plant in Lafayette, Georgia. The investment will increase production capacity and enable GE to accelerate the launch of new products. The plant's new high volume assembly lines can produce gas, electric, or induction ranges, and they can flex to meet changes in demand. The lines feature state-of-the-art technology, including robotic cells that assemble glass cooktops, program control boards, and rotate products for easier assembly. And for today's top story, robo-taxis are coming. The Apollo Go, a robo-taxi made by tech giant Baidu, has already provided more than 6 million rides in China. Here in the States, companies like Tesla and Waymo are pouring money into development and production. Another startup, Amazon's subsidiary Zooks, has just opened a new assembly plant to mass-produce robo-taxis. Here to tell us more is Chief Editor John Sprovieri. Zooks has opened a new factory in Hayward, California. The company plans to introduce its robo-taxi service throughout the United States, starting in Las Vegas this year. San Francisco, Austin, and Miami will follow in the next few years. The factory is the company's second in California. The first, located in Fremont, will now be dedicated to retrofitting test vehicles and configuring sensor pods. At full capacity, the Hayward factory will employ hundreds of people and be able to assemble more than 10,000 robo-taxis annually. Besides assembly, the factory will house engineering, software and hardware integration, and testing operations. The factory blends automated and manual processes. Robots are used for tasks such as material handling and dispensing adhesive. AGVs transport robotaxis down the assembly line. Zooks has adopted a modular approach to assembly, which is made possible by the symmetrical quadrant design of the vehicle. Once a robotaxi rolls off the line, it is prepared for testing. First, each robotaxi enters a calibration bay which ensures that all sensors are working together to produce an accurate understanding of the environment. The robotaxi rotates on a turntable, 
collecting data to calibrate all the sensors. Then, the vehicle's wheels and headlights are aligned manually. The robotaxi is loaded onto a dynamometer to stress the powertrain. The vehicle autonomously runs a series of tests at speeds up to 75 miles per hour to verify that the motors, brakes, and thermal systems are functioning correctly. A light tunnel acts as a final quality inspection point. Along with visual checks for scratches and fit, various functional tests are conducted. Finally, each robotaxi is taken to an outdoor test track for an initial autonomy run to verify the operation of ride hailing, driving, pickup, and drop-off functions. Back to you, Jennifer. Thanks, John. And finally, Ohio Systems Integrator Wasion Machine has built a system to automatically assemble a component for EVs. The part is a stainless steel tube for the cooling system. Robots assemble the part on a 16-station rotary indexing table. The robots are LR Mate 200 ID models from Fanuc. This compact robot has about the same reach as a human arm. Vibratory bowls and a flex feeder supply the parts. Vision systems guide the robots and inspect the assemblies. A laser etches a barcode onto each assembly for traceability. That's all for this edition of Assembly News Now. For all the latest news on assembly technology, visit assemblymag.com and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching and tune in next month for another installment of Assembly News Now.